Good evening. I'm here as a resident of District 1, and I'm here to deliver a petition to City Council, which was started last Sunday. And to date, just by online uh, Facebook people finding it, over 70 Upland residents have signed it, so I'll leave it for y'all. Mr. Manis was delivered a copy of this um, via Monday. Janice Elliott asked this council and Mr. Manis to put this issue of the uh, districting election schedule back on your agenda now that new information had happened, being Sid is not going to exercise his gracious opportunity to run again. For the people at home that don't know what's happening, because most everyone does not, uh, Upland has changed to a local election schedule only. The city is divided like a kite in four sections. Each section has 25% of the population. Uh, each section should have one representative, and there should be equal representation of each 18,000 people in the different four districts on Upland City Council. That's the law. Um, that's what our country was founded on. But in Upland, we're going to now elect a third member to this council from District 2 that isn't currently already here. For no reason besides you want that woman gone. You're going to discriminate against over 18,000 people in District 1, which is the only district without a representative on council or any person from that district on council right now. You're going to allow the almost 12,000 registered voters in that district not to have a representative or be able to vote until um, almost 2021. We will actually have a representative on this council. Wow. District 2 has had three people on council and will control 60% of city council for 25% of the population. Our minority majority districts, where we're supposed to be electing Hispanics to District 3 and District 4, uh, even after city by redistricting, we can't get a fair election in Upland, and that segment of the population will be controlling 20% of city council for 25% of the population, and will be outnumbered 3 to 1 by District 2 members of this council. So district, district 1 is 3 to none. District 3 and 4 are 3 to 1. Um, Carol, your district was supposed to go first because it has the highest Hispanic population, which is over all of the races by a 20% margin. The only thing standing between Upland finally having a Hispanic on city council is you and Gino. Gino's district that he is migrating to is also a Hispanic majority district and has nearly 20% more Hispanics than any other races. And Debbie, you're just going to get recalled because of this. It's so absolutely disgusting. I'll see you next month to hand you a notice. Thank you. You go right ahead. That'll make you feel better.